Hello students, I am Mr. Sandeep here. In our subject Advanced Manufacturing Processes, we have started our discussion on the rapid prototyping techniques. So, in the chapter of rapid prototyping, we have started our discussion on various processes. So, rapid prototyping processes can be classified based on the raw material form that is based on powder based on liquid or say solid material so we have discussed the stereolithographic process that is based on the liquid right so epoxy resin is used in stereolithographic process right so in generative manufacturing or say in additive manufacturing these processes can be worked or say can be used as a fastest manufacturing or say in other words rapid prototyping so prototyping means you can make the model or say concept model or say working feature model of the product to be produced right so the speed is very important so in the category of rapid prototyping today we are going to discuss on another process that is also under category of rapid prototyping process right so let us start our discussion on SLS process that is selective laser sintering right so this process short form is SLS that is selective laser sintering and this process is based on powder category so it means here your raw material is used in form of powder right so powder is used as a raw material in this SLS process that is selective laser sintering so as per the name laser sintering here laser energy is used to produce the heat so here laser is used which uh, generate the heat energy and this heat energy can be used for sintering or so settling of the powder right so here I mentioned the general principle figure and also principle for the selective laser sintering process so as per our discussion here this process is based on powder technique it means here raw material is in form of the powder right so here what happens when we convert our 3d CAD model into dot stl file based on this stl file the laser will guide according to the part geometry it means here uh, as per this image here there are two pistons as mentioned in this construction right so first of all just be clear about the principle the principle is this technique is based on powder and here with help of or so with the use of the laser you can settle or even fuse your powder or say so you can do the sintering so sintering is nothing but at the high temperature your powder molecule will fuse together and make a solid layer right so based on this technique you can make your model that is your final prototype right so that's why this process is under category of powder because powder is used here so here as per our discussion here i mentioned the process for the same right so here as per our discussion there are two pistons so one piston is moving in upward direction it means there are rollers available for the powder feeding right so it means when you or say when your piston will travel upwards the powder is available on the back so due to this roller you can spread your powder evenly on the second part so the laser will guide according to your imported part geometry so when the laser will scan according to the geometry what happens due to this laser or due to this energy heat energy what happens your powder molecule will fuse together and make a solid layer right so this is how your uh, layer can be solidified so what happens here once again i mentioned the image here in this image we can provide the powder from the one piston and in the another piston what is the role or function of this right hand side piston so what happens when the one layer is solidified the piston that is located right hand side will be coming in downward direction and after that the roller will again spread the powder on this 
back and again this laser will scan according to the geometry and this process will continue itself right so once again i repeat there are two pistons one piston will be moving in upward direction that is uh, for the powder feeding and the right hand side another piston will be coming in downward direction according to your part building right so layer by layer will be built on this platform and your piston will be coming in downward direction right so here i mentioned all the steps for this selective laser sintering method so just remember this method is based on the powder that's why here only powder can be fed with help of this roller right so on the back or say on the platform powder can be spread evenly and we can sinter this powder with help of this laser right so here as per our discussion in the selective laser sintering here for the better understanding from this video we can have a better idea so this is the platform the laser will scan on this layer of the powder that is uh, spread evenly with help of roller so when the one layer is scanned your piston will be coming in downward direction according to your layer thickness and this process is repeatedly done on this platform and finally what happens you can have your final part that is prototype right so here your laser can be used for producing this heat of sintering right so from this video we can easily understand the principle of this laser sintering process that is selective laser sintering right so here this process is very fast because with help of this laser at the high scanning speed you can do the sintering right so here from this video we can have an idea of this process and that is based on the powder technique right so here two pistons are very important and with help of the two piston we can do the powder feeding as well as our part building right so here for your better understanding i mentioned all the steps required for this prototyping with help of this selective laser sintering method right so first of all you have to provide your model in form of dot stl file and after that you can provide your powder or say your powder feeding mechanism is very important after that the focused laser beam will scan according to your part geometry and after that what happens your piston or say your table will be moving in downward direction after layer by layer sintering and your after all the layers will be manufactured your part can be removed by keeping your table or say piston in fully upward direction right so this is how you can build your whole part so here for your information i mentioned all the parameters that is generally a uh, link with this studio or say sls process that is selective laser sintering process so here i mentioned the build size or some maximum size dimension of the model that can be built on this selective laser sintering right so i mentioned the dimension of the maximum volume that can be built with help of this model as well as resolution and in the z direction your resolution or some minimum movement in your z direction because your piston will be moving in z direction that's why this z direction parameter is very important right so here various types of material can be worked on this sls process so here i mentioned the nylon it means nylon is most frequently used for this selective laser sintering or say you can make the model of the nylon with help of this process very effectively so here i mentioned various advantages as well as limitations for this process so when we are talking about advantages the main advantage is this process is a self supporting it means here uh, extra supports uh, will not be required while the part building because here powder is there so powder is a self supporting material and it can help help its own shape right so here extra supports will not be required so this is the main advantage and here this process is a little expensive when we are comparing with the fdm tactic that is, that is fuse deposition modeling and 3d printing right so here surface fit is also quality of your material or metal is also important so you have to consider this accuracy surface finish and quality before choosing 
your process for rapid prototyping. So this is all about this selective laser sintering method that is based on laser sintering and powder based technique. Thank you all of you.